If you are from the United States of America, this upcoming weekend is going to be a weekend you're not going to want to miss out. You're going to want to watch it all because, for one, you got the NASCAR side of things where they're going to the Homestead uh, Raceway, the race in the Forever 400, a race throwing it back to Kevin Harvick. It's the second race in the round of eight. The first race was out in Las Vegas, and Kyle Larson took home the checker flag. And Kyle Larson is now into the round of four. And who's going to join him? We'll see more about that this Sunday in Homestead. And today, I'm going to give you all my predictions for that. But also, a race that I will be attending this weekend, the Circuit of Americas, the 2023 Formula One United States Grand Prix. It is going to be a phenomenal race, in my opinion. And I believe Red Bull right now is vulnerable to different teams. I think McLaren can jump them. I think Mercedes is right there to pounce, and obviously Ferrari. So it's going to be an exciting weekend of motorsports all around. And today I am here to give you all my full predictions on how I believe things are going to play out. But enough said here. On to the intro we go. I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. This past week, the NASCAR Cup Series went out to Vegas to race in the South Point Casino 400, and we saw Kyle Larson taking home the checker flag after a phenomenal race with tons of action and a thriller finish. And let's talk about the finish for a moment because we have Kyle Larson leading with about 10 to go and Christopher Bell was about a second behind in second place. And as the laps went down, Bell was gaining about a 10 every single lap. And it got to the point on the final lap, on the final corner, coming out of turn four, if you will, Christopher Bell had a chance to win the race and his chance of winning the race was turning Kyle Larson. And there's got to be a point in NASCAR where you have respect for a driver, but there's also got to be a point that you're going to have to follow yourself. I'm, I believe Christopher Bell is going to win Homestead. I'm just saying that before I go into this remark. But if I was Christopher Bell, I would have done that differently. If that was during the regular season, yeah, you can live to fight another day. But it's the playoffs. You really can't do that. Uh, but I believe he should have done something with the five car, possibly wrecked him because you're going for a championship berth. And I think he's obviously going to win Homestead, so he doesn't have to worry about it. But let's say if he didn't win Homestead, he's going to be in a pretty rough position heading into the final race in Martin, so which is a race you did not want to be fighting on the bubble. Uh, but yeah, Christopher Bell either probably handled that differently, but it just shows you the amount of respect he has for the other drivers in the garage. But I believe there's a time and place for that, but it's during the regular season and not in the round of eight in the first race in Vegas. You could have been in the final four already. Uh, but I believe he's going to clinch it in Homestead. But I don't know. It kind of worked me up because I would have did that uh, a little differently. Uh, but there's a reason why Bill is in the Cup Series and I'm sitting here making a video. Uh, but second place is going to be Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson is a phenomenal driver at Homestead. He's got nothing to lose. He's been in the round of four, so these next two weeks, he's going to be chilling, if you will, and uh, having fun and getting ready to go after his second NASCAR championship. Third place is going to be an interesting battle, and I believe the driver that's going to come home in third place is the 11 car of Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin was up and down. It was like a wave, if you will. He was going up and down or tied. Uh, during the Las Vegas race. One minute, he'll be high up on the leaderboard, and another minute, he'll be mid-pack. And it was not consistent at all. And I believe, heading into Homestead, he's going to have to have a great performance because Martinsville is a big unknown. I don't care how good or bad you are there. Anything can happen. Just look at Chastain a year ago. And uh, Denny Hamlin has to do good in Homestead. Stage points are a must, and his 11 team has to be ready. All right, fourth place is going to be the 24 car of William Byron. William Byron, I don't know about him. I don't know how I feel about William Byron. I expected more out of him in Vegas. And and let's say a top 10 for Byron in Vegas, in my opinion, is just bad. It's, it's not a win. I expected more. Uh, but Homestead is a track he's won at in the past. Maybe he can go do it this weekend. But for the time being, I got him finishing fourth. Kind of disappointed in him in that performance because I expected a lot more. 
fifth place is going to be Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney has flipped the switch in the second half of this year. Really being the best Penske driver overall, Logano has kind of fallen off the map, and obviously Cindric is nowhere even on the map this year. Uh, so there you go there. Top five. Uh, Christopher Bell, Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, uh, William Byron, and Ryan Blaney. My dark horse is Tyler Reddick. So we may see what he can do this weekend, uh, if he can go to victory lane or not. But time will tell, but the weather's looking good. But enough said here. Now let's talk about the United States Grand Prix. This is going to be a very fun and exciting race. And I believe Red Bull is in a vulnerable position here. Where they can be in a dogfight if they do not come prepared on Friday. Because we got to remember, this is a sprint weekend. And you're going to only have one lone practice session, which will be uh, Friday afternoon before the Sunday qualifying on Friday afternoon. Then Saturday rolls around, you got the sprint shootout qualifying, you got the sprint race, and then Sunday the main race. So it's going to be a big weekend for Red Bull, and I believe they got to be prepared come Friday afternoon, and I believe they're going to be lacking. And I say they will be vulnerable in the sprint race and also the main race. And I believe the driver that's going to pull out the broom this weekend and have a clean sweep both the sprint also in the main race, will be George Russell. George Russell, at the beginning of the year, had a slow start. But since then, he has kind of gotten used to the new car for Mercedes. Which I believe is de developing, but not at a quick rate as they were hoping for. But I believe they're going to be in a good position heading into next year. But uh, Russell, I believe he's going to turn things around and get his second career win in Formula One this weekend, uh, taking down Goliath and Red Bull Racing. So Max Verstappen is going to be coming home in second place and joining them on the podium. And I believe it's kind of a bold statement at this point in time, with knowing how good the McLarens and Ferraris are doing. I believe we're going to see a double Mercedes podium. Lewis Hamilton coming home in third place. And let me tell you, folks, if any Mercedes uh, driver wins this Grand Prix, the crowd will erupt. It is going to be a very, very interesting scene if that were to happen. I believe Russell has a good chance. He has always been good here at Austin, and uh, this may be his year. Uh, fourth place is obviously going to be Sergio Perez with the amount of pressure he's got on him right now. He knows he has to perform at the USA GP, Mexican GP, Brazil, Las Vegas, and Abu Dhabi. He has to end this season out on a high note, and that means he has to pretty much get a podium in every single race. He may be able to get away with one or two podiums lost, but he's got to aim for podiums. Not wins, but podiums. I believe that will keep his seat, but uh, Perez will come home in fourth place, and it's going to be one last podium he gets this year. Uh, fifth place is going to be Oscar Piastri. Oscar Piastri has flipped the switch in the second half of the season, but so has McLaren, so who knows? He may have been this good the whole time and we don't have really noticed, but I believe that's the case. Uh, but uh, sixth place is going to be Charles Leclerc. Uh, has had an up and down year. I know he has to feel like crap after what happened in Singapore where his teammate won a race. And we all know teammates like your Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri, they, all, the team, all your teammates in Formula 1, they like each other. They really do. But they want to outdo them. And I know that Charles Leclerc was torn apart by his teammate Carlos Sainz winning the Singapore Grand Prix because that's in the same machinery he was in. And he wished he would have been on the top set of the podium, but instead he was outside of the podium. And remember, he should have won it last year, but Sergio Perez won that race. So I know Charles Leclerc is feeling like crap this time of year, just ready for the season to end and to regroup and get ready for 2024. But we still got a couple of races in 2023. And he has to make the most out of them, and I believe uh, sixth place in Austin. Seventh place will be Lando Norris. Uh, eighth place will be Esteban Ocon. Ninth place is going to be Fernando Alonso. Tenth place. I know y'all see it. Y'all obviously see it. Logan Sargent is going to get his first career points in Formula One. And I believe when that happens, when he crosses the checkered flag this Sunday in Austin, Texas, in tenth place, Getting a world championship point 
It's going to be announced on Twitter. It's going to be announced immediately. Hell, James Viles may come on the radio. Logan, you just earned you a seat for Williams Racing in 2024. Mark my word. As soon as he crosses the checker flag in the points, he is going to get an offer to return to Williams next year, which will obviously accept. Uh, but he's going to get the offer, which will be in the more formal way. And it's going right now just because all is just down to him, Blue Blee, uh, Drogovich. But uh, I think he's going to do it the right way and get points. So there you go. George Russell wins the United States Grand Prix. And then uh, Christopher Bell wins his forever uh, 400 in Homestead. So great weekend of racing. I can't wait. I cannot wait to go back and watch the highlights of the Cup race Sunday night. And uh, there probably won't be a video next week regarding Martinsville. There may be a short one, if, if anything. But for right now, don't expect much. Uh, but stay tuned. I'll keep y'all guys posted. But uh, please like and subscribe.